Good evening and welcome to the Swans Way Chester Stadium on this mild Tuesday night for today's fixture between the Blues and visitors Barrow. The home side slipped up here on Saturday, going down to a hardy Borenwood side. Despite Niall Bell's first of the season, the Blues succumbed to a 2-1 loss. Since then, Chester have brought in two new faces. Jordan Goff joins until the end of the season from Telford and Jordan Archer comes in from Stourbridge. Both Jordans are in the starting eleven. The visitors are just outside the relegation zone and are currently managerless, a situation home supporters will be all too familiar with. There's even a hint of sibling rivalry at the ground today, as Marcus Bignett's younger brother Paul starts at the back for Barrow. It's 22nd v 20th, and it's a side just outside the relegation zone, Barrow, to get us underway here. Paul Johnson has to clear his lines. Hughes brings it down to Bowers. Gomez tries to play it inside, but Lucas Dawson read the play and intercepted. Archer's making a run ahead of him, and Archer has made that run. He's in one-on-one. -on -one. It's Archer for a chance on his debut. He scores! John Archer slams it home just over 10 minutes into his Chester debut. It's a superb pass by Lucas Dawson, the man who won it back initially. And it was a perfectly weighted through pass. And how about that for a finish? Jordan Archer, one look up, rolls it into the bottom corner. 1 0 to Chester. Whereas Chester really on top at the moment. Dawson with the corner, points towards the back post. It goes in towards the penalty spot. McComb attacks it once more, beaten again by Harrison. Shaw helps it in it. Volleyed away again this time. Byron Harrison, who's been doing more defending than attacking so far this game. Paul Johnson clears it. And James does brilliantly well to dispossess Barris. And plays it forward. Ross Hanna's onside. Brings it down his left foot instantly. Only one man in the area. Behind a man on Eden. Ross Hanna goes alone. Oh, and it's straight at the goalkeeper. Joel Dixon. Brilliant running though from Ross Hanna. Did well to stay onside to begin with. And, and across the face of goal. And they know what that left foot can do. Barrow know what that left foot can do. Still 1 0 to the Blues. Big header from Assels, intercepted in the middle by Hughes. And it's quick footwork from Kings of James, who slides it through to Archer, who's in behind the Barrow defence again. Three blue shirts arriving in the middle, but Archer's can't get past Big Nut. The ball comes in from Goff. Oh, Hannah stooped to have it. Might volley over hold Johnson. Oh, he slams it in! It's another first goal for Chester. And this time it's the right back, Reese Hall Johnson. It was a superb performance on Saturday. And he's bettered it here today with his first goal for the club. And he's doubled Chester's lead. Barrow nil, Chester two. Dawson with the corner. Dinks it towards the back post. It's down attack by Assels. Deflected. Maybe McCoob. He keeps it in. Hannah with a shot. And blocked by a crowd of Barrow players and behind for a corner, but it was John McCoom who had the first effort saved or blocked. <laughs> Throws it out to Bradley Bowers. Kingsley James comes across to slow him down. And it's a simple ball over the top. Yusuf is in here. And Yusuf manages to scramble it in. Goff came across. Vardy Yusuf managed to get his toe on that. And it's his second goal of the season from the Tanzanian. Dixon's kick. Oh, it's flicked on by McComb. Assel's missed it. Byron Harrison. It's 2 all. Barrow have turned it around in injury time. And Chester played probably the best 45 minutes of their season so far. We're 2-0 up in that 45. And here we are in 45 plus 3. And Byron Harrison has found the equaliser for Barrow. Chester 2. Barrow 2. Second half is underway, no changes from either side. Been a lot of balls into the box so far for Chester, none of them have really come to fruition. Dawson puts a whipped one in, it's helped on by Ryan Assels. Oh, and onto the, the back stanchion behind the goal. Joel Dixon was nowhere near, it looked a lot closer than what it actually was. That flick on by Ryan Assels. Got 17 minutes remaining of the second half here at the Swansway Chester Stadium Clements able to receive it early and put a ball in towards the back post Paniotto's completely unmarked 
and it's just wide. And Lynch's header, Harry Paniotu, the man who's just came on. He's yet to score this season, but he came mightily close there. As the rain continues to fall here deep into the second half. As Dawson's free kick goes in, it's flicked on by Gomez. James chops at it. Oh, and it's just a foot over the bar. Strong effort by Kingsley James. He's not scored a goal for the club since his winner against Aldershot. He came mightily close there. Great effort by the man from Rotherham. Dawson to take his umpteenth corner for the Blues. Whipped in with real pace. And there's the header to the near post. And it's cleared off the line by Bradley Barr from the right back. Free header for Ryan Assels. Before he was taken off for Thompson. Here's Bathroom. Bathroom manages to get his cross away. Headed away by McComb. Dawson didn't put his foot on. He had the chance to. Ball's not away yet. Harrison tossed in with Assels. And Assels does brilliantly, away, brilliantly well to get in front of the ball. Bell. It's flicked on brilliantly by Bell to Zanzala. He's in a tussle with Barris. But Zanzala might go all the way. Still Zanzala. Stays on his feet. Zanzala. Oh, what a save that is by Joel Dixon. That was the chance to win it. The second minute of injury time and the former Sunderland goalkeeper made himself big. And the man on loan from Derby couldn't finish. Brilliant composure though by a friendly Zanzala. Bell holds it up and gives it to Kingsley James. And Chester muster something at the end here. Turnbull lets it run through his legs to Goff. White and Bella on the far side but instead he goes near side to a friendly Zanzala. Goff Puts it in first time towards the back post. Hangs it up there. White arrives. Will it fall for them? It might do just here. Oh, and it's cleared. Dawson. It's in. <laughs> Lucas Dawson in the final minute of injury time. It's Chester 3, Barrow 2. And three points surely here for the side from the Swans way. It's his fourth goal of the season. And by far the most crucial one. Split up into the air by Diane. Headed away again. Zanzala goes for it. Bowers gets on that one. Gomez. Forced back to the defender. But there's the full time whistle. Well, they were 2 0 up, and it looked like they'd thrown it away at the end of the first half. But Lucas Dawson's strike in the 93rd minute of injury time has assured the second home win under Marcus Bignett. What a way to do it. Chester three, Barrow two.